2025 Rivian R1S, where rugged capability meets cutting-edge EV performance. Rivian's R1S is essentially brand new for 2025, but you might not notice at first glance. Despite retaining its familiar two-box design from 2022, the changes underneath are significant. The 2025 model features new batteries, motors, software, and wiring, though the exterior remains mostly unchanged. What's really different is the competitive landscape. When the R1S first launched, it was one of the few fully electric three-row SUVs available. Now, it faces stiff competition from both emerging EV companies and established automakers. With a starting price of $75,900, the R1S is positioned alongside top-tier models like the Kia EV9 GT line, which is one of its key rivals. Despite the increased competition, the base R1S remains a powerhouse. Its standard dual-motor setup delivers an impressive 533 horsepower and 615 lb-ft of torque, easily outpacing the 379 horsepower EV9. And the performance only improves from there. Opting for the $5,000 performance package boosts output to 665 horsepower and 829 lb-ft of torque. For those seeking even more power, Rivian will offer a tri-motor version with 850 horsepower and a quad motor variant boasting a staggering 1,025 horsepower, though the quad motor model won't be available until next year. Rivian promises blistering performance, with the quad motor version expected to run a quarter mile in 10 seconds and accelerate from zero to 60 miles per hour in just 2.5 seconds. However, the 665 horsepower in my test vehicle felt more than adequate. Rivian also provides multiple battery options to power these motors a 92.0 kWh standard, a 109.0 kWh large, and a 141.0 kWh max. While the battery chemistries and capacities differ from previous models, these changes are aimed more at improving Rivian's profitability rather than altering the vehicle's overall driving experience. In terms of what buyers will notice, the R1 SS range varies from an impressive 258 miles to an outstanding 410 miles, depending on the battery and configuration selected. My test vehicle, a Dual Max, delivered the full 410 miles of range, significantly outpacing the Tesla Model X's 335 miles and the Kia EV9's 304 miles. Charging times are equally impressive with the large and max battery packs supporting a maximum charging rate of 220 kilowatts on DC fast chargers, adding 140 miles of range in just 20 minutes. However, it's important to note that prices rise steeply with the larger, more powerful battery options. The R1S Dual Max starts at $89,900, but the test model I drove was priced at $100,950, more expensive than the much quicker Tesla Model X Plaid and nearing the cost of a Mercedes-Benz EQS SUV, which starts at $105,550. This is where the R1S faces challenges in comparison shopping. For off-road enthusiasts, the R1S is unmatched by any electric SUV except the Hummer, boasting 36 inches of weighting depth, 15 inches of ground clearance, and a 35.8 degree approach angle. But on paved roads, it falls short of luxury standards. Despite updates to the suspension, the R1S rides more like a traditional SUV than a modern luxury EV. In normal mode, the ride feels too stiff on rough roads, while in soft mode, the rebound rate seems out of sync with the compression, resulting in noticeable cabin vibrations when hitting potholes, something its more road-oriented competitors handle better. The 2025 model does feature an upgraded hydraulic anti-roll system, which performs well in minimizing body lean during cornering. The steering is sharp, and the Dual Max felt secure during full throttle acceleration. Still, for long road trips, I'd be more inclined to choose an EV9 or EQS, as they offer a more comfortable overall ride. Inside the cabin, I appreciated the new software written for the 15.6-inch infotainment screen and 12.3-inch driver gauge cluster. Response times are excellent, and graphics for changing drive modes and entering menus are crisply animated. The electric dimming roof-spanning skylight equipped on my Dual Max was gorgeous and worked well 
when dimmed at keeping most of the heat out of the interior despite 100 plus F temps outside. The synthetic leather upholstery feels nice enough. The new in-house premium audio system blasts tunes with clarity, and the wood grain trim is a thoughtful touch. It's pleasant when parked. Actually driving and interacting with the R1 SS cabin, however, is a different story. Rivian has persisted with its virtually button-free philosophy for 2025, and the R1S suffers greatly for it. This anti-tactile ethos applies to things such as mirror and steering column adjustments, climate control, and even the aim of the air vents, which are controlled by dragging icons on the 15.6-inch center screen. Even Techcentric Lucid doesn't relegate climate control aimed to its touchscreen. While minimalism has its place, the R1 SS single-minded insistence on a screen-centric cabin is frustrating. It's also at odds with its off-road audience. I shouldn't need to remove my gloves after a long day skiing to re-aim my heat towards my hands. The NFC car key also gave me troubles, even on my short test drive, as the vehicle didn't recognize I'd left it in the center console sometimes when I'd hop out to take photos. The R1S also still lacks Android Auto and Apple CarPlay functionality, although 2025 models offer a $149 per year Connect Plus subscription, which offers Apple Music and Spotify integration, as well as thousands of other streaming apps. This puts the R1S in a strange spot. In 2025 models, Rivian dropped 40 pounds from the wiring, improved its motor and battery engineering, drastically cut the number of computers required on board, and added hardware that can support semi-autonomous functionality to rival autopilot and super cruise. The complete semi-autonomous software still isn't available, although Rivian has added an automatic lane change feature via an OTA update this summer. Buyers won't notice most of these changes, though, and whatever cost savings the company found haven't been passed on. With the $55,000 EV9 on the market and the launch dates for the Cadillac Vistic, Lucid Gravity, and Hyundai's to be named three-row EV all looming, the R1S has a much tougher case to make now than it did two years ago. The 2025 Rivian R1S offers a driving experience that blends power with versatility. But when it comes to comfort, the SUV shows a mix of strengths and weaknesses. On the positive side, the vehicle's hydraulic anti-roll system helps minimize body lean during cornering, making the R1S feel stable and controlled even during aggressive driving. The steering is responsive and precise, contributing to a confident driving feel. However, despite improvements in suspension tuning, the ride quality tends to lean more toward a traditional SUV experience rather than a refined luxury EV ride. On well-maintained roads, the R1S handles smoothly, but rougher surfaces reveal a stiffer ride, particularly in normal driving mode. In soft mode, the suspension offers more give, but it doesn't fully smooth out bumps and potholes, leading to noticeable vibrations in the cabin. While these characteristics might appeal to drivers who appreciate a more rugged feel, those seeking the plush ride of a luxury electric vehicle may find it less than ideal for long road trips or city driving. Compared to more comfort-focused rivals like the Mercedes EQS SUV or Kia EV9, the R1S falls short in providing the silky smooth ride many EV buyers have come to expect, making it better suited for off-road adventures. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe if you like videos like this. Thank you.